So one of your fallbacks for this uh, project is local regulation on, on demolition, and that depends on a functioning planning department. And as a local homeowner, it doesn't feel like the planning department really works for us. It feels like it can be paid off, like you can get what you want in our planning department. And I find all this talk about housing really hard when we don't have a housing department that seems, I mean, a, a planning department that actually seems to function. I have a four-story building behind me that's for a single family, it's for a couple, and it could house, you know, three nice flats. And, you know, it, anyway, I, so I find that disjuncture. <laughs> and the second question I have is, what's happening with Candlestick Point and that development? Because that's where density could be so effective. So, so two things, and what I have learned, what I've learned in my now seven years as a legislator, uh, is that I, my control over departments that I set rules for and I is exceptionally limited. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there are times, you know, the number of times the board and, and and someone, I think it might have been Mark Leno told me this right after I was elected to the board. He said, "Remember, Scott, when you pass a law, sometimes it's tempting to just say, okay, I passed it, signed, yay." move on? No. Your job is to start because you have to mod monitor, monitor the implementation. And a number of times on the Board of Supervisors, I would pass something in the law, and then you find out a year or two later that whichever department it is was not, either hadn't implemented it at all, or was getting it wrong. At the state level, it is exponentially more challenging. We, I mean, we, there was a, uh, a law passed to require training of long-term care facility workers around LGBT cultural competency. Uh, I think they were supposed to do it in a year or two. It took like I don't know, a long time. So it happens a lot. So with the, you know, one of the, we're going to put some controls into the bill itself, um, you know, because I know there have been some issues. Uh, but um, I, you know, I, I believe you. After all these years, I understand some of the challenges with the, the planning department. It can be frustrating when you don't feel like the laws are being um, enforced. But with, with Candlestick Hunter's point, um, uh, that that was approved actually even before I was in the board of supervisors in 2010, approved for I believe 12,000 units of housing, a brand new neighborhood, everything. Um, we recently they, upzoned it. Yeah, we yeah. Oh, right. Yes. Yep. Um, that was a ballot measure though. No. No, you did more, okay, good. Yeah, I didn't even realize yeah. that, that's great. Um, and so I know there's some issues with the contractor that falsified some of the toxic reports. I'm sure that will you know, be worked through. Um, and the, and the first, but that's going to take years. It's building a whole new neighborhood. Same with uh, Treasure Island. It's just creating a new neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, so, Mary, and then. Yeah. 